Hey y'all, y'all know what time it is. It's Thursday, so that means it is scandal and how to get away with murder. Y'all, okay, let me just say this. You know, in my house we watch The Walking Dead, okay? We all know that they had the um, season premiere Sunday. Y'all, I don't know if Shonda them and the writers said we they timed this mess out because you know some people were saying that Dark and Dead you know season premiere was better than Scandal which I mean it ain't the same kind of show y'all so hmm but baby baby honey yes honey they came with it tonight y'all the name of this episode was like father like daughter Y'all, this shit should have been bring your umbrella because it is shade city. Y'all, it was so much damn shade on this episode. Y'all, I was dead to the sofa so many times. So let's just get into it. Okay. Now, y'all remember that I said last week when Daddy Pope had, you know, put that knife between Jake fingers like Sela did Mr. Oh, the color purple. You know, because Jake was popping off at the mouth. And I said, Jake, that's Daddy Pope you talking to. Don't be popping, popping them gums. Lord, we open up. Daddy Pope done put old nasty bomb in the car. But, you know, Jake, you know, he was the... You know, the head of B613 at one point. So, you know, Jake ain't, he ain't new to this. You know what I'm saying? He ain't new to this. So, he knew that it was a bomb. And he did the little alarm and it went on off. Okay, so, he tell Liv, oh, I just had some car trouble. Okay. So, next, you know, him and Liv and they're talking. All of a sudden, she get old, call, and she like, where's that? Where they at? So, she go to this clearly a frat house you know people just drinking out of bone you know out of the funnels and all this and stuff and um queen that queen like well who we looking for y'all go through the room go in this back room we see the president daughter out in her t-shirt and her panties on she just had a bra and panties hanging out for the bed Throwing up, calling Earl. I said, mm mm mm. So, of course, you know, Liv done called Hook and he like, she like, uh, we need, it's about a hundred or so kids in here. We need you to kill all cell service. I said, well, goddamn, Hook. Next thing you know, they get on that. Her ass so pissy drunk, she can't even walk, but they get out. People like, ain't that the, the, the president's daughter? Let's Google her. Mm -mm. They ain't got no kind of cell service, no nothing. So we thinking they get out, they get on the old fire escape and get her in the jet, you know, in the plane. And we thinking, okay, she good. Next thing you know, she get a darn little a, a video of a sex tape with her and two boys on it. So Liv going the hell off. Liv called Cyrus. <sighs> Cyrus, I'm gonna need you to get your life together because Cyrus is laid up in the bed with the whore. But then all of a sudden, you know, Cyrus, you know, he like, okay, we got to get up, we got to get out, you know. So when she see the sex tape, she called Cyrus and she like, get the president up. His daughter in the sex tape, get him up, okay. So, next, you know, of course, Fitz, you know, trying to talk to his daughter, you know, and of course, no, do no daddy want to think of their daughter as no hoe. So, Fitz going to tell her, like, that they rape you, you know, we can make them pay, blah, 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 it's not your fault, you the victim, and she like, well, you talking about what they, I done did this, I done smoked this and use somebody for their daddy private jet and but you ain't able but you worry about what they did to me what about what they what i did to them i said oh she's a little whore so 
Um, of course, Fitz was looking like he wanted to slap the piss out of her. But Liv is like, you know, you know, we need to take her down here to this doctor, the same doctor they probably use that DNA test for. We need to take her down here to this doctor and get her old STD kit and all that stuff. Make sure she good. So, you know, Fitz is like, Liv, I need you. I need you to take care of this. We need to get this sex tape. We need to handle this. Okay. So next we see, you know, at first live like, no, but I knew she was going to do it. So next we see Hook and Quinn walking through the White House with their little badges on. You know, they little um, things letting, you know, letting it be known they're supposed to be there. Who come? Red, a.k.a. Abby, which y'all, is they, <laughs> Cyrus just be paying Abby ass dust. So she's like, well, um, you know, talking to Hulk and Quinn, like, well, what y'all doing here? And sorry, y'all, I got the, I'm trying to be comfortable. She like, well, what y'all doing here? And blah, blah, whoop, whoop. So they, you know, they like, we ain't got to tell you nothing. And she, you know, she's like, well, y'all in my white house. Really, really, really red. The half of them don't know your name, but moving along. So Cyrus come and Cyrus is like, um, tell Hook and Quinn, y'all can go ahead. And Abby like tell Cyrus talking about, well, how am I supposed to do my job right if you undermine me at every turn and you stay calling live in, um, how am I supposed to do my job and yada yada whoop whoop and da 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 y'all. Let's have a moment of silence. Y'all, this is not the first moment of silence we're going to have to have in this damn episode. But let's have a brief moment of silence for Cyrus. Because y'all, Cyrus read the hell out of old Abby. Because he, he read her. And then at the end he said, maybe you just jealous. Have you ever thought about what it takes to be Olivia Pope? Sometimes it ain't fun. He, seriously, it's like... Abby, baby, I think I said this one time before. If I didn't, I should have. Abby, sweetheart, you're not Olivia Pope. Quit trying to be Olivia Pope. Quit, quit trying to be better than Olivia Pope. That, sorry, Abby, there is no comparison, sweetheart. So you just do you to the best of your abilities and stop trying to be Liv. And she's very intimidated because she know Liv better than her. She's very intimidated. So Cyrus, kudos to you, even though I'm I'm gonna need you to get your life and leave this whore, Michael or whatever his name is, the hell alone. But yeah. You you read Abby for film. So next we see Liv and Fitz. Y'all Woo! Fitz got emotional about that thing. Fitz saying, "Where did you go? Why did you leave me?" You know. He say, "Hold on, I write it down." He say, "Um, he said something." Hold on, y'all, because I want to make sure, honey. He said, "Hold on, hold on, y'all." He pretty much was like, well, you know, you left for two months. And y'all, Fitz had tears in his eyes. He like, you left for two months. Um, You know, I'm a bad husband, a bad father, and apparently a bad man. Where did you go? Why did you leave me like that? I, I was, I almost couldn't live or something. So, Liv said, you know, oh, well, I, you know... Oh no, I ain't, they ain't got to that part yet, y'all. So he was just like, you know, where'd you go? So she was just like, I just had to get away by myself. And my thing was, I'm like, well, Liv, why you lying, baby? If you so overfits and you with Jake, which y'all, I said that wasn't gonna work from the beginning, but if you so overfits, why is you lying? Now, y'all, the funniest part to me is when Millie see the daughter. Millie just ended up eating her some old. 
popcorn and um some cereal out of the box or something looking like she still ain't took no bath. Now, next we see Jake go to David for the B613 files and you know David is like, no, I'm not gonna give you the files. And Jake about to just Jake say, You ain't nobody, I'll snap your neck. So of course, you know, because David ain't about that damn life. Of course he give Jake the keys to the storage so he can go get the um he can go get the, the files. Okay. So y'all, am I the only person who was cracking up when <laughs> Millie just lost her damn mind, y'all? When Millie saw Liv in that White House, Liv tried to hurry up and turn the hell around because Millie, I already know, is something. Boy, Millie, Millie grabbed, Millie grabbed Liv arm like, you know, I said, woo! Millie! I wouldn't blame Liv if she just slapped the shit out of Millie for grabbing her like that, but hey. So, Millie like, what you doing here? Why you here? Why you here? So, Liv like, trying to be respectful, you know, you need to talk to your husband. So, <sighs> moment of silence number two. Mini shade and major shade. So, Millie busts up in the over office and <laughs> Cyrus messy ass say somebody ooh are those snow boots y'all I was ooh I was cracking up I say really Cyrus so that's mini shade so Millie you know Millie snap you know she like oh what what did y'all have well, did you have one of your late night masturbate sessions on the phone and she, you know, one of them phone calls, and she come over here and blase whoop whoop, and why is she here? And whoop bloop bloop. And this ain't her family. I handle stuff, and I'm the mama and child. I guess all them months of her not taking a bath, Liv was gone. So he wasn't getting none, and I guess all that pent up frustration just finally came up out of fits because. Baby, the read of the night. Maybe the read of the season goes to Fitzpatrick. Because Fitz, Red, Millie, all the way to the damn shower, tub, bubble bath, uh... Cow gun, everything you can think of to feminine products, everything you can think of for some soap and water. Cause Fit say no, you are not the mama. Hell, our baby around here thinking that the, the nanny the, the mama, our daughter just made a damn sex tape. He say, Yeah, I understand you lost your child, but the difference between me and you is I still been running the country which y'all I said that Millie we understand you going through but baby pull it together he said I have dealt with you for these last couple of months you know I, I've dealt with you for these last couple of months but all your ass want to do is sit up on the sofa and eat um cereal and and not take baths smelling Millie I said gee Thus, take the wheel. Y'all, you know one of them reads that somebody reads somebody so good, they really ain't got no good, good comeback. So, me, the only real comeback was, oh, a sex tape. Hmm. She takes after you or some shit, she said. But Millie, Lord, I know Millie felt this small, y'all. Because he done, he done got her together so damn much. He done pretty much told her, bitch, you ain't doing nothing for your children. You a piss poor damn mama. And you a piss poor damn woman because your ass ain't even, you ain't even washing your ass. 
So y'all, yeah, we're we going to have to see moving forward if anybody going to have a read that's this good, y'all. But as of right now, I'm nominating Fitz because this tonight took it. I'm nominating him, y'all. Whew, this is going to be a hard one to beat because, Lord, he read the fuck out of Miller. Okay. Now, next is when we see, sorry, y'all. Next is when we see, um, Liam Luna found the, the boy, the two boys that's got the tape. One boy, his family broke, the brother in prison, the mama ain't doing too good. He on the scholarship, so... Hell, he he ain't trying. Look, he just like leave me out of this. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm I'm barely making it, so he ain't no problem. The problem is the other boy, his family rich and da 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 da. But he he's a screw up. His family is rich, but he always get in the shit. And pretty much his mom and daddy use the leverage of the sex tape. Like, well, um, we want um, we want two point five million. You know, to sign, give y'all the sex tape and blase. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so Liv go back and tell Fitz. And Fitz is like, I ain't, mm -mm. I ain't with that. I ain't finna pay them. But Liv, like, well, hell, you got the money. So this is when Fitz is like, where did you go for two months? You know, he said, don't ever leave me. I almost died when you were here. Y'all, I said, woo, Fitz. Mm. Okay, now, and you know, he was just like, "Oh yeah, it, oh God, am I the only one, ladies? Am I the only one who just love for a man like my husband? When we like, when he just grab me and hug me, or when we sleep and he, you know, he'll take his arm and just pull me into him." Am I the only person that that's just like, yes, honey. Liv, I'm going to say, Fitz mess around and grab Liv by that waist and hook that arm behind her and snatched her into him. I was like, get it, Fitz. Then he just done started filling all up and stuff. And he was like, you didn't miss me. You didn't miss me. Tell me you didn't miss me. I said, ooh, okay. So she, all, you know, she was like, yeah, I miss you. And da, 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 da. And they get to the kissing. Y'all. Then Fitz, she stopped and she like, I can't, I can't do this. And he like, why? And she was like, well, when I left for two months, I didn't leave by myself. And he say, you, you left with Jake, huh? I want to hear you say it. She said, I left with Jake. Y'all, Fitz looked like he wanted to slap the living hell out of live am i the only one who caught that like and then she messed around and went to touch him Woo, fitz grabbed that on so quick Woo, fitz, fitz grabbed that on quick like bitch don't touch me i said now ain't this the kettle fitz baby now how you get mad at live now fitz but you married I mean, is, is Liv just supposed to just, you know, be single for the rest of her life? You know what I'm saying? Like, she's supposed to just put everything on hold for you? Okay. Then, so at this point, you know, Liv kind of frustrated. So she go back, this is the funny part of me. She go back to the to the parents of the boy to try to get him the 2.5 million. These black males talking about now we want just an even three million y'all live got them so down together which were taking them pictures of them taking the pictures of that money and she got them so together y'all so quick fast in a hurry did the hell at the end i was wondering did she even get them to check after she got them together so she got them together last little part we see y'all jake going to try to tell the president what, what and what. Tom, the, the Secret Service man who we know killed the president's son, 
um they don't figure that that he got some discrepancies in his you know his whereabouts so they done do, doing an interview on him all of a sudden daddy pope come in the interview room daddy pope done flipped it and got tom to lie and say that jay is the one who ordered the president's son to get killed said this damn daddy pope how you flip this mess and jake got all the evidence right there in his hand but they ain't look they ain't looking at it so y'all next episode they gonna have jake i just y'all like I, I just don't see how they gonna let daddy pope get away with this come on now y'all yeah so i don't know y'all Yes, like I said, scandal, y'all, scandal was everything tonight. I mean, everything, honey. Yes, it was so good tonight. It's going to be good next week. Um, Like I said, I hopefully now, with Millie finding out everything, hopefully she snap out of it. You know, her finding out the daughter did a sex tape and all this her stuff. And then her seeing Liv in the White House. Maybe that make her want to step her game up and take baths or something, y'all. But I don't really need them to get Miller the hell together. But, as always, um, if you subscribe to my channel, I thank you very much. If you don't, and you just took the time out to watch my videos, um, I thank you very much. I make videos because I like doing them. Um, so yeah, so I do thank y'all for watching.